Hey, have you ever seen a player just tearing it up all over the fretboard and wondered how do they do that? Well, one way is they've learned how to simplify how they think about music and the fretboard. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways of simplifying the fretboard and you can use it at any level. You know, as I progressed through learning the guitar, I remember several times I needed to simplify things so I could isolate and concentrate on improving a specific thing. For example, when I was a beginner and I needed to know the notes all over the fretboard. When I was learning scales and I needed to connect those scales all over the fretboard. When I started gigging and I needed to avoid just bashing out bar chords and stepping all over the rest of the band. The simple concept I used I'm going to show you right now through an example. Now by no means is this the only thing you need to know on the guitar. I'm not saying that at all. But I am saying that if you learn it, and I mean really learn it, learn how to play it, not just academically, it'll pay dividends over and over and over again throughout your learning career. Let's first see the idea in getting around the fretboard and we'll do a more advanced concept after that. One typical way that people visualize the fretboard is by using the cage system concept. That is, they visualize five chords all over the neck. It's a great system, it works, but let me show you how this simplifies that. Here are the caged chords for D. Here are all the roots, the Ds, in red. You see how all the shapes overlap? That's confusing to a lot of people. And also, some of the shapes, like the G shape, are really hard to play up the fretboard. So now let's simplify this, not to get rid of caged altogether, but to unclutter our thoughts and to free up our fingers. Let's start with a caged map, and now we're going to wipe out everything but the middle three strings. The D string, the G string, and the B string. Here's what we're left with. That's a lot simpler, do you agree? And you don't need to know this early on, but it turns out that each of these shapes is itself a major triad. Each has a root, a third, and a fifth. And each shape is a piece of cake to play. So we've simplified five shapes to three and we freed up our fingers. So how can we use this simple concept? Well, here's one way. We could learn a song in multiple areas of the fretboard with ease. Let me give you an example of a G blues. One, four, five, right? Three chords. The one chord is a G, the four chords a C, and the five chords a D. But let's not do it that way. Instead, let's do it using our chords only on the D, G, and B strings. So what does that get us? For starters, we hardly had to move our hands at all. More importantly, it makes it really easy to go to other positions, like so. And we could do a third position by using the third shape, but I think you get the picture. So let's move on and do a more advanced example. I know a lot of intermediate players who struggle to connect the fretboard seamlessly. Here's the way that I was taught to do it. You take one scale position and then the next one, and then you notice that the notes overlap. Use those as connectors. And then you move on to the next position and so on. But that's difficult to get under your fingers and it's a lot to memorize. So instead we can use our same three shapes along with a concept called triad pairs, which we'll talk about some later time, to easily make lines like this. <laughs> Or maybe a longer one like this. Try improvising a line like that using scale patterns and the connector notes. I personally can't do it. But using those three triad shapes, it's actually pretty easy. Hey, if you like to simplify things and you just want to get more fun out of playing guitar, check out this playlist because I've got a bunch of videos in there where it really helps you get more out of your play 
without having to memorize a ton of things and without having to practice like you're on Steve Vai's schedule. Not that there's anything wrong with Steve Vai. So check out that playlist by clicking on it and we'll see you on down the road.